basically what I have here is my content screen. Now this is the content detail screen and you can see it brought in from that uh, add new content in the parking lot by title. Here's my central theme which is this will be a companion piece to the podcast with Brody on how to get started and set up a blog project from beginning to end using Divi HQ. So that's my central theme. And uh, over here on the right hand side you see I have a details tab and I have an activity tab. So right now we're just going to talk about the details tab and for that I have the calendar that it's going into, the type of content, the status. Now let me show you the other statuses here. This is uh, uh, these are the other statuses that uh, are that come into play through your workflows. Um, so the way I use this is parking lot is first. That's just in the idea phase and gathering information phase and getting all the you know the links and the key thoughts and things like that that that's going to go into this particular blog post. Um, and then once it's uh, I'm all set and I sort of have my outline of what I want to write about and I've thought it through, then I go into production. So in production means um, like if I'm doing this for a client then I, I've assigned this and I've, I've given this over basically to the writer and the writer begins to work. In my case um, I'm going to write this myself um, and uh, so I, I put it in production that just tells me that uh, right now this is in the works right. So then then the next step in the, uh, the in the process in the workflow would be um, once you've written and you've created a first draft then you're going to review it and you're going to rewrite and you're going to revise you're going to you didn't go you're, you're going to perhaps go into revision um, and then after that uh, you'll uh, you'll approve it uh, and then you'll publish it um, or if for something uh, for some reason something happens along the way and you just decide you know you decide that um, you know we're not going to uh, move forward with this uh, for whatever reason you can just kill it uh, and, and use the killed status. All right. So uh, assign to. Uh, so here's all the different team members I could assign to this. But I'm I'm actually gonna, I've assigned myself, and I'm the content owner. But I'm also going to include Gregory J. L. Well, here's my other self, um, who's going to be involved in in this project. So you can see some of the communications and the notifications that go back and forth um, with regards to um, the, the progress uh, for this particular piece. So if we scroll down, we can also see here's our topic category. I mentioned I'm going to give this a how-to. So I'm just going to type in how-to. And then I'm going to give it a publish date. Um, I'm actually going to want to publish this um, on Friday, the 12th of April. So I click done. I see, you can set by, uh, by, by the hour and, and by the minute. So I'm just going to shoot for, say, 11 a.m. OK, perfect. And now uh, my production deadline. So in order to get that into production, in order to meet my publish date, normally I would do this about a week in advance. Uh, but in this case, um, I'm actually recording and doing this on the 11th of April. So I'm going to I'm going to just click the 11th of April. So that tells me that I need to have all of my information um, wrapped up in order so I can give it to the writer by 5 p.m. on the 11th of April in order to get this baby written, reviewed, and published by 11 a.m. on the 12th. Okay, so uh, short time frame, but uh, I think I can do it. Uh, promotion date. So, you know, you could use this to um, uh, remind you and, and set up uh, a series of promotions of how are you going to promote that blog post once you publish it. Uh, so, you know, social media, email, uh, tell your friends and family about it, uh, get the word out, right? So, review date. Uh, so, this would be the date that uh, you could use this in a, a, a variety of different ways. This could be a post publication review or it could be a review date saying that you know I need to get my 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 team together in order to, to review this um, this content that we're going to publish and, and go live with but we haven't done so yet but we need to review it all together and and get everybody's approval uh, before it goes out. Now you notice there's other um, features here like uh, if it's if it's a content piece that, that that reoccurs, so like maybe you're doing a weekly newsletter or something like that, you could set this up on a recurring basis and then just go in and and, and edit and modify the details uh, that you have in there. So buyer audience, you know, for me it's um, SMB um, uh, marketers and small business 
owners, etc. So you might have, um, you know, marketing uh, Marvin or something like that as your as your blogging persona. Uh, so you could put that in there. So then, so now the keyword, and this is usually something I actually come up with first. Uh, but uh, in this case, uh, my keyword is going to be editorial calendar. And I always like to have a primary keyword for each article, and that that keyword is going to go into the title, and it's going to go into the body. And if I have any use any images, like if I have an image of a calendar, which I'll probably use for this um, blog post, I will give it the file name editorial calendar uh, .jpg or something like that. Publish to um, you know you can use this. Uh, I'm going to publish this to the BDB inbound blog. And uh, I'm going to promote this via uh, Twitter. Um, I'm going to definitely use LinkedIn and Google Plus, and uh, let's not forget Facebook. Okay, so those are the four channels. My my spokes, my conduits that I that I typically publish this to. So now let's save it. Okay, Divi is working to save that information. And uh, so there we go. So now, if we, uh, if we do go to our calendar, let's, and let's, let's do that. In fact, let's just scroll up, scroll up. Here you can see your content has been updated with all that information. And, and now if I go to my calendar, there we go. Now you can see that this shows up in two, on two dates, in two places, and that's because I've chosen to show um, my my in production date, which is the the eleventh here at five o'clock, along with my publication date, which is eleven a.m. here on the twelfth of of April. Okay, so again, you have that um, in your settings, and let me just quickly go and I'll show you how to do that. If you go to your uh, my account settings. And, and you can just scroll down my calendar settings and here are production date, publish date, promotion date, review date. Now it can be a bit confusing if you have all those dates um, selected there because all of those dates uh, with your title is going to show up on your calendar and I just choose to use um, and sometimes I toggle between this uh, sometimes I just want to see my publish date sometimes I want to see both and, and so I just uh, I kind of go back and forth between this all right.